Hey there, YouTubers. Here comes some quick vegan meals. This is a takeoff of one of the bowls from KFC, but it's vegan. This is a pasty. It's not vegan. But this video is going to have some quickie freezer type things from Impossible and another brands that you might like. All right, YouTubers. Okay, YouTubers, you got to watch this. This is a one and done, I was just told. This is the first time ever making homemade tofu. And tofu is cheap enough at the store not to make it at home. Here are some more just various vegan meals. That's some breakfast. That's a nice vegan wrap. Awesome stuff. Look at that. That's good stuff. You can eat well and eat vegan. There's a lazy cat waiting for his food. All right, YouTuber. Here's some products that we got at Walmart on sale. Impossible teriyaki chicken. Impossible sweet and sour pork. Impossible barbecue pork. There was also another one that was chili mac. These were all on sale for a dollar. So what we did is we bought probably more than we should. And we're going to taste them all and I'll let you know. And then we might go clear out Walmart. Because a dollar. So here's some of the nutritional stuff you can pause to read. I guess they weren't selling well, so Walmart decided just to get rid of them. To our benefit. Alright YouTubers, this bag was also a dollar. It's by Like Meat. Vegan chicken wings for a dollar. We got some of them going in the air fryer right now. Let you see the nutritional or whatever. I'll take a picture. Maybe I can get a focus. As many of these freezer things, you can see that salt is often high. This isn't too bad, but some of the impossible ones were pretty high. So you just got to be careful. These are every now and then things. All right, there we go. This is the sweet and sour impossible pork with rice. The servings aren't huge, but let's see how it tastes. That's fine. The pork's um, not real tough like pork, you know what I mean? It's a soft chew. I'll do another bite. It tastes good. Tastes like anything you get in one of the normal cheating microwave meals. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad, right? That surprisingly has a pork flavor. Yeah. It's like a super tender, tender pork tender. Right, point. it's very tender. It very doesn't tender. have the chew. But, but it tastes fine. How do they make it taste like pork? It's good. Yeah, this one is the Impossible Pork Barbecue. You can see there's some, looks like barbecue beans in there. There's some onion, maybe some potato. It shreds, but it's really hot. So I'm gonna let that cool. All right, this, I wasn't here when this was tasted and it did not get a thumbs up. Not a fan of the potatoes, I was told. But this is, again, the barbecue impossible pork. I see what I think. I don't mind that. I think the other one's better. I think the sweet and sour's better. But I shouldn't have told you what I thought about it before you Maybe not. It. No. I apologize for that. No, I do it all the time to you. No, what I would do with that is I would throw some famous Dave's barbecue sauce on it and it would be better. That's what I would do with that. It's not bad. I bet it, I bet if you dump that on a slice of toast, I bet it would be good like that. Sure. I like sure. beans on toast. Sure. What are you, British? <laughs> so these are the little drumsticks. Let's see. I'm going to take a bite out of one without the sauce on it. Yeah, we're going to go back and buy more of those. I can tell already. They're because good. for a dollar, they're as good as any fake chicken nugget. And to me, fake chicken nuggets, I don't think they're any worse than real chicken nuggets. You know, it's all processed chicken anyways. Yeah, I like those. We're going to put some sauce on them now. Talking. She already said, told her to keep talking. She already says these look like they have wheat gluten in it because it's stringy like that. But the flavor is, like, if you didn't tell somebody that wasn't chicken, I don't, right. I don't think they'd know. I'm telling you, they're good. We're going to go back and get more of those. We're going to put sauce on. I'll do another bite. Now I'm going to do one with sauce on it. Hold on a second. It's hot. Okay, here we go. It's hot. Their buffalo sauce is okay. My first recommendation, any sauce that you like, I'd use them. These are just as good as any any friggin' uh, fake nugget you're going to get. Or as good as most chicken, real chicken ones. These get a definite thumbs up. Mm. Like chicken wings.
She just told me she was wrong. She's going to read to you. It's not It's not wheat gluten. What is, no, what's in there? It's soy protein concentrate. And then there's methyl cellulose and oat husk fiber and pea protein isolate. So so basically, if you um, can't have gluten, you can have these. Huh. If you have celiac disease or you don't want to sure. eat gluten for some reason, it's there's no wheat in them. There's no reason not to eat gluten unless you have celiac. That's just a personal thing of me. Mm. I'll shut okay. up about it, though. That's <laughs> okay. Yeah, those are really good. We're going to go back and get more. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so if you see these, like, and, and this bag was a dollar, right? It was a dollar. It was a dollar. Mm hmm Chicken, impos teriyaki, impossible chicken. This is the teriyaki, impossible chicken. Again, there was another one that was like um, chili mac. We're not eating that one. It's got a lot of salt. This one isn't so bad. There's some pineapple in there. Oops. Rice. Let's see how this does. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that very much. Mm-hmm. We'll see what you have to say, but I like that. Okay. Very good. That might be the best one. Really? I like it. I'm just going to put a little bit on each plate. Okay. I wasn't recording any of that, so she tried that and she went, Mmm! Lots of big chunks of pineapple. Very, very good. Would you say that's your favorite now? Mm. I think the pork's my favorite. Still the pork? Mm hmm The sweet and sour pork. Sweet and sour pork. Because, you know, I, I I haven't eaten pork for a long time, so to get something that tastes like pork, that, yeah. that doesn't make me unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this stuff is good. Like mm. I said, we're going to go back to Wally World because mm. there was some more of this stuff, and we bought a lot. But um, How did they do that? I don't know. But, see, when she does the cooking, I don't eat this way, but when I do the cooking, I kind of eat this way because I don't have her vegan skills yet. These are awesome things to keep in your freezer, especially if you're not a talented vegan cook. Mm. So, yeah. Very good. Right? Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's freaking mm -hmm. good. <laughs> and she knows. <laughs> All right. We'll be back with some more. All right. Here's another vegan thing we got on a good sale. This isn't too unhealthy. You know, for again, it's processed, but you can see it's got a lot of sodium in it. But we'll show you cooking this. It's actually a good right, alternative. So we picked up three or four of these. And these are like usually $12, 11 something. And we got these for $2. And I think early in this trip up here to the UP, I did a meal where we cooked one of these. And they're really pretty good. I wasn't that thrilled about the idea about them. But when we had them, they were pretty good. $2. Amazing. Like I said, this is called Like Meat, and we went back to Walmart, and we were four more of these, and we bought the rest of them up. These were a dollar for this bag, and they had the original price on them of eight fifty a bag. And these wings, if you can find these little drumsticks, they're really pretty good. Even uh, someone pickier than I thought, she thought they were her favorite fake chicken ones so far. So that's a pretty darn good deal. But they're that cheap. It's good and it's bad because this means Walmart up here isn't going to carry them anymore. You know, so you're stuck not being able to buy them. So you, you got a good date on the back of them. So you just throw them in the freezer and you got them. All right. Oh, and we also picked these up. These are real. So they're going to get given away. But these were also a dollar. And uh, I think these are uh, gluten-free. Yeah, they're gluten-free, so there you go. A dollar's a pretty good deal on that. Here's a real vegan meal, but again, these Impossible and other things you can buy now in the freezer sections are pretty good. You'll have a great and wonderful day.